All right, in this video, we're going to start the tracing. Okay, so to ta start this trace, <laughs> sorry, to start the tracing, we're going to need our editor to editor toolbar. So if you don't have that there, you can go to customize toolbars, and then you can turn the editor toolbar on. All right, so here from the edit toolbar, we're going to click on start editing. There you go, and then from there, we're going to go to there we, uh, the editing windows so from the editing windows we're going to go to create features now from create features let's first uh, take boundaries there we go we now have activated the boundaries now we're going to trace the boundaries so let's zoom in so as much as you zoom in and as many points as you take the more your accuracy is going to be since uh, I'm not uh, doing this for work, I'm just doing it to show you how to do it. Uh, I'll not be caring about accuracy that much. Okay, so I'm zooming out and then I'm going to trace it randomly. There you go. What I'm doing is I'm just uh, drawing the boundaries of the city. Now, when you come to the end point, there you go, you just need to do a double click to let go, just as usual. Now, go to the editor now click on save edits to save your edits. Now, to stop edits, you're going to click on stop editing. There you go. Now, as you can see, our boundary has been made ready. So, when I uncheck the Shonar Gao JPG, there we have the boundary shape file as you can see it is a very sloppy work so because it is just to show you when you will be making it make sure you take a lot more points to make it more accurate all right okay so we're done with the boundary now we're going to go for the main roads so for the main roads let's uh this for for now just uncheck the boundary now for main roads we're going to do is go to editor click on start editing from there go to uh, editing uh, windows click on create features even though the window is uh, already here now click on main roads now it is the main roads is a polyline feature so it is not a polygon feature so what we're going to do is here we have our main roads there you go again as many points as you can take by zooming in the more your uh, tracing accuracy will be okay so there you go since it is polyline you don't need to meet the st start point doesn't need to meet the end point so when you need to uh, finish your work just do a double click there we go a line has been made here and then similarly we have uh, another road here let's take that road and I'm just going to do it with two clicks. There you go. Now, sorry, I, I had to do a double click. There we go. Double click done. Now we have another road here. Let's do a double click and it's done. Then from here to here, do a double click and it's also done. As you can see, it is also sloppy work. So when you do it, make sure that your work is not sloppy. Now from the editor, click on save edits. It is done. Now we're going to do the new shape file. Uh, that is actually the point file. So let's click on it. There we go. Now it has been activated. So let's look for colleges. There we go. Zooming in. 
see where the colleges are here we have a college click on there it's placed now again let's slow there we have another one click on it it's done now let's look for more colleges Now it seems I cannot find any more colleges. So, but when you're going to uh, do the tracing, make sure that you look for each and every point and see what each and every point is. Okay, so since I'm just doing it for an uh, example, I'm going to be as sloppy as possible. So when you're done placing the colleges, go to editor again, do the save edits, and now since we're done with all the editing we're just going to stop our editing there we go it's done now if I move the Shonargao JPG and we have let's turn it on there we go so right here we have the roads the boundary and the colleges okay so as you can see the colleges are a bit bigger than we expected so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the symbol and we're going to change the height let's change the height to 15 now click on ok now it is more soothing to the eyes okay once you're done with that we're going to go to the layout view there we go from there we're going to change it to letter there you go letter and then portrait click on ok all right okay zoom it down zoom it down again there you go Alright, so there we have our map. Let's do a zoom to extent. There we go. Now we have, uh, I just did the boundary, one road, and one point file, but when you're going to do it, you're going to have to do each and every one so that your end product looks like this this was the original one that i had done previously as you can see i have given as many roads as possible as many points as possible and then i did not use just one polygon for the boundary i used another polygon for the river here and the river uh, ship files here as well okay and here i have the legend in legend you can see that i have added a uh, lot of things i have given embankment then village roads and almost everything that the original map had so i had traced it like that okay then i gave latitude longitude values you already know how to input those you know how to give this one how to import the north arrow you know how to edit the legend how to change it to graphics you know almost everything about mapping so i'm not going to talk about it anymore so that is how you can do map tracing in ArcGIS and after your map tracing is done. So let's take a look at the legend for it. Okay, I'm just going to show you the legend. So let's go to insert, click on legend and for legend you're going to have to take on all of the shape files there. Now go next, 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 finish. There you go. As you can see in the legend, you have the main body, the boundary, and the new shape file, which is supposed to be college. So let's change the name to college. There you go. Click on apply and okay. There we go. We have our college now. Okay. 
so when you're going to uh, finish the work you're going to have more shape files around here and then you're going to have to work with the legend and the mapping of it the way I have showed you in the previous section of mapping and you will have a final product that will look somewhat like this okay so if you get any map tracing jobs I believe you will be able to do the map tracing jobs so that was it for this video I hope you got to learn something new and thank you very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you